One of the main challenges for Hansa School was that it was constantly strove for academic recognition. So basically, the economists at Copenhagen University did not regard what was going on at CBS as, as real science. And, and then on the other side, you had the business community who thought that some of the programs and research that was going on was overly theoretical and somewhat uh, irrelevant or unworldly. You can see the, uh, the student body is exclusively male, and that was a defining characteristic of uh, business administration until the mid-80s. When former uh, CBS rector, uh, Lagos Tetting, gave his uh, annual speech at the uh, gala dinner in 1979, he, to the surprise of some of the guests there, uh, delivered his resignation, basically. He said that, that the, he could not take responsibility for the development uh, of the school anymore, and that the severe budget cuts had, had brought the school to its knees, basically. This new modern campus uh, solved a huge problem that CBS have had historically with not having uh, sufficient classrooms for the students. And that had led to a frantic search for uh, facilities all across the city. For example, the, uh, the uh, lectures at the uh, autopsy auditorium at the, uh, the medical department at Copenhagen University. And all the people here were, some of them were the founding fathers of the combinatorial program, such as Spoik, the woman in the middle, Inge Gorm, is uh, comfortably smoking her cigarette, as she did back in the, in the 80s. From that moment, in, the, in 84 and 85, you will see like the branching out of, of, of different education programs at CBS, and that eventually leads to the very diverse um, uh, profile that CBS has today. Mm -hmm. With these new Spock students, the traditional divide between business administration for males and the language programs for women was uh, fundamentally altered because women now had the opportunity to also and, and the wish to also study business administration like never before.